This is an ABC 10 News update. Good evening, I'm Vanessa Van Hefti with this 10 News update. We are learning all of the identities of the 13 fallen service members who lost their lives in the airport explosion in Kabul. 10 of the 13 were stationed at Camp Pendleton. A memorial was put together at the base where many paid their respects today. Nine of them Marines, one sailor. You can find all of their names at our website at 10news.com. And the local Afghan community called for justice today during a protest at Waterfront Park. Many of the Afghans who are demonstrating today have families still in Afghanistan unable to leave. With the U.S. withdrawal deadline just days away, their plea for help from the Biden administration is even stronger than before. The protesters feel the U.S. has an obligation to accept and assist refugees who have been displaced or harmed by the war in Afghanistan. A test spin of the Midcoast Trolley Extension brings San Diego one step closer to the full opening. That will happen November 21st. The ride will take passengers between the new Tecolote, Claremont and Balboa Avenue stations for the first time. It covers the southern end of the extension. Today, local city leaders came out to celebrate that big milestone and to showcase the line. Meteorologist Leah Pizzetti now with a hot weekend on tap. Vanessa, definitely get ready for the heat as we head into Sunday. Temperatures were going to be nice and hot for most areas, with the exception of our coastal communities, which will hold off um, in the 70s and some 80s. But as you look inland, we see lots of 80s and 90s on the map. Get ready for the heat as you head into your Sunday.